Hey guys, it's Tyler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this website step-by-step -step with no steps skipped. But you probably don't wanna make this exact website step-by-step -step with no steps skipped. You probably wanna make your own website. Maybe you're a business who needs more customers, a church who needs more members, a nonprofit who needs more donations. Maybe you're old and just bored. Maybe you wanna be a web developer. Whatever it is, we're gonna do it together. And we're gonna have fun, and it's gonna be easy. The stuff is so easy. I'm gonna be making the website based on Google's Cardboard website. So Google Cardboard is this uh, virtual reality that you you know, slide out and you, you put your phone into, like, you know, you slide it in and you can look through here and you can be in like Paris or, or LA or France or inside of, of a game and it looks like, you know, virtual reality. So I thought their website was really cool and so I grabbed all of their pictures and I recreated it. And I wanna show you guys how to do the same thing and how to recreate uh, a really cool website. And this is so that you can actually go to any website that you want and you can take you know different elements of that website and put them on your website. So if you see something that's really cool and you visit some cool websites and you're like, oh, how can I put that on my website? That's what I'm aiming here to teach you guys how to do. So you guys can have a true understanding of how to build a website and not just copy something step by step, even though you can do that too. But you know, my goal is for you to have a, a real understanding of, of uh, creating a website. All right, so this is the website that we're going to be making again, step by step with no step skipped. We're going to be putting in this uh, logo here, and I'm going to show you how to make the logo, all of these different pages, these headline here, this big image in the background. It looks very cool. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it color coordinated, which just really polishes the website off. I'm going to show you how to put this in like it divides the spaces. So this is one space and this is another space. It kind of divides it. It makes it look really awesome. I'm going to show you how to put in different columns. So if you can imagine this is one column and this is the second column and this is a whole row. I'm going to explain all of that. I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I'm so excited about it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to put in all of the stuff that's called action at the bottom. These really big, big text so that it really grabs people. You know, people don't, people don't look at a huge wall of text. They just don't, they won't do it. So you need to really make your website uh, very professional. I'm gonna show you how to put in these social media icons so it can connect your different social media activities and uh, these links here at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you how to create this about page. And I'm actually very proud of this about page because um, it has a really cool transparency over this our about team. And I think that's really awesome. This picture is obviously really awesome. And uh, maybe this is like about you, about your company. Um, and maybe you have your different team members or maybe it's just you. Maybe you have a customer um, or employee quote, which is really cool with their image in there. And everything again is all color coordinated with, from the uh, social media icons to the colors to her, her sleeve, uh, which is really cool. And then we're gonna make a services page and this could be about your services, maybe you're a consultant, maybe you have church services, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe you're a plumber and you have different services, like my father is a plumber. Um, so we could have d your different services here, and we have three, so this is a one column, two column, three columns, and uh, we have this little divider, and we have a video because I love videos, and I think they're very cool. So I'm going to show you how to put in your video and I do recommend creating a video for your uh, business, nonprofit or whatever you're doing. Um, and then uh, all of these links work and we can go to the contact page and that's very cool. We see the contact page. It says, hello, talk to us and you can email or you can call us or you can fill out this form. It has a very cool uh, orange divider here. You can fill out this form and it will send to the email. So that is awesome. Awesome. So that's the website that we're going to be making. It is also mobile friendly. So your website will work on any device. It doesn't matter if your customer has a PC, a Mac, an iPhone, an Android, an iPod touch, an iPad, whatever it is, they will be able to view your website. You can also build the website with your Mac or PC or Linux computer. 
So we're gonna be making this website in WordPress. WordPress is what's called a content management system. And that's just a fancy way of saying it helps you manage your content. So you have like pictures and images that you wanna get on the web and it just helps you do that. So instead of having to know HTML and CSS and PHP and all this code and stuff, you don't need to do all that. You just need to be just like email where you upload a photo or where you type in text and it all shows up. So it's really easy but it's also really professional. Companies like CNN and Forbes and eBay and UPS and GM and Jay-Z and Katy Perry, they all use the same system. They all use WordPress. WordPress is also used by professional web developers and Fortune 500 companies, and it is super professional and super easy, and it is by far the most popular way in the entire world to make a website. So even though that we um, know that we're gonna succeed in creating our website, I wanted to make it even easier. I wanted to make it almost impossible to fail. So this is the tyler.com companion website. And what I've done is I've taken this whole course and I've made it into uh, individual sections of the video. And then you can mark off your progress. So you can be like 5% done or 30% done or 80% done and you mark it off because some people have said the video is so long, sometimes they get lost in the middle of it, and I don't want that to happen, obviously. Um, so I made this tyler.com companion website so that that will never happen. So you can log in with your Facebook, with your Google+, or log in with your email. And the first time you log in, it may say, are you, you, know, are you sure you want tyler.com to log you in? And you press allow. But I've already logged in, so I'm just gonna press the login, and I'm gonna log in with uh, Google+. Once I'm logged in, I'm gonna be able to scroll down and see the different courses. And again, I'm uh, designing this, so I'm in the process of redesigning it. The functionality all works, but the design may be changed a little bit when you get here. So um, we're gonna do the how to make a WordPress website 2016. That's the video that we're gonna work on. So we're just gonna click on it. And we can see all of the um, individual uh, lessons broken down. So these are all the lessons and a lot of them are really short and uh, some of them are a little longer but they're all super easy. So what we do is we you can just check it off right here or check this off. And if you've already gotten you like your your hosting and domain name and you've already installed WordPress then just go ahead and check a whole bunch of them off so it can so you can keep track of your progress. Alright if you want to see the individual um, uh, lesson you can just go ahead and click on it. So right now we're doing the intro which is this one right here So we're gonna click on it and Obviously I haven't made it because I'm making it right now um, But we can press complete lesson and then it'll complete And we'll be 4% done and then we'll you know go to the next lesson and so on and press complete and then we can you know keep on going going and going to the next lesson to get back to all of the lessons we can just click uh, up here and we get back to all of the lessons and it, again you can uncheck it so if you want to go through the video once or you know and check them all off and then you can reset all of them or uh, do multiple websites or whatever you want all right so now that we know all of that we have our companion website we have everything Let's do an overview of everything that we're gonna learn. I have uh, heard that this really helps your mind like save space in it so that um, it makes the learning a lot easier. So first we're gonna do the intro, which we're doing now. And then we're gonna get your hosting, your domain name and hosting. Your domain name is like your website name, like my domain name is tyler.com. Google's domain name is google.com. And your hosting, hosting is a computer that's on 24 hours a day that holds all of your website information. So if you had your website name but no hosting, then your website would come up blank. So you need hosting to hold all of your information, um, like your text, your images, and all of that. Then we're gonna install WordPress, so um, that's super easy. Then we're gonna log into WordPress. Um, we need to log in to in order to go into the back end so that we can change things on our on our website. Then we're going to change our password because they give us a funky password. Then we're going to update WordPress for all the latest bells and whistles. Then we're going to delete plugins. Plugins, um, they extend the functionality of WordPress. They're like add-ons, but um, <clears throat> if you have too many of them, um, sometimes they conflict with each other. 
and, and things won't work right. So we have to delete all the plugins so we know that everyone's on the same page. Then we're going to do a theme overview and installation. And a theme is like the skin or the design of your website. So um, there's like thousands of designs to choose from so that your website will look into, you know, unique and not like everyone else's. And we're going to install it. Then we're going to learn how to delete pages because sometimes you'll add a page and you won't want it anymore, so you'll delete it. And then we're going to learn how to add pages like your services page, your contact page, you know, all of that. Once we add all the pages, then they're all going to be up at the top menu. And if none of this makes sense, we're going to go over it. It's going to be super easy. Um, and we're going to, you can rearrange the, uh, the menu. Then we're going to add the site title and tagline. This is really good for the search engines to know what your website's about. Then we're going to create your logo. I'm going to show you how to create a logo and insert it into your, um, into your website. Then we're going to edit the header. The header is at the top of the website. It's like the menu bar at the top. We're going to change the colors and, and all of that and add a logo. Then we're going to do the same thing with the footer. Then we're going to change the background color. This is the background color right here. Then we're going to um, understand plugins. I'm going to go over what plugins are. Plugins, again, extend the functionality of WordPress. So, for example, WordPress doesn't have a contact form by default, but you can just install a free plugin that adds a contact form to your website. Then we're going to install Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is a plugin that allows you to make your website um, layout much better than the regular um, website. Then we're going to create your home page, your about page, your services page, your contact page, again with that contact form. And we're going to make your website mobile friendly so it can work on you know all mobile devices, um, iPhones and Android and all of that. Then we're going to add in your social media icons and your fave icon, which is this little icon way up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it really polishes it off and makes it look good. Then we're going to do a summary of everything that we learned, again, just to put it back into your mind. And then we are going to celebrate. So that's it. We are done with the intro. So we're going to mark that off. And we are 4% done. Good job.